What's up visionaries? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. And today it is the season finale of UK versus the world season two. And of course you guys know in each and every video, I pick a comment from last reaction and the comment that I chose today was girl. I just know that if Tia or Hannah picked Marina's lipstick, it would start a whole war on social media. The Filipinos would instantly be out for blood. 110% agree with you, babe. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below and your comment might be chosen in the next video. And speaking about next video, I am going to be doing another Reactors Unite episode on my channel where I get a couple of reactors to react to your guys' questions in a roulette style pinwheel where we have lots of fun and answer your guys' questions. So ask your question down in the comment section below on what we should answer about Drag Race UK, Drag Race, or anything that you want, want to ask um, reactors in general. And your question might be picked for the game. Also on my community tab, I asked you guys who is going to be crowned UK versus the world season two this Friday. And 12,000 of you guys voted and 85% of you guys said Marina Summers is going to take the crown. Woo! And you guys, and you guys answered why you guys thought that way, which was very, very, very interesting to me. And I love to see what you guys had to say with that and why. But since we are at the end of this season, I did want to give a huge shout out to you guys, my visionaries and people that are new that are joining that just subscribed. Thank you so much for joining me on this crazy wild ride of UK versus the world season two. And if you thoroughly enjoyed yourself with me throughout this season, made you cry, made you laugh, or just made you feel good in any type of way, you guys can send me a blessing by sending a cash app, PayPal, or a super chat. Any donation that you guys send, small or big, is greatly appreciated. And also, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and share this video on all your social media platforms. And since a lot of the franchises are ending and aren't gonna start rebooting until, I think, um, May of this year. So during that time period, that's kind of like off of franchises, starting new franchises. Um, I might just go back and do a season two, maybe a season five or six of Drag Race US. And I might react to that season. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. And keep in mind, if you guys want to watch the full reaction and full episode of everything that I react to on my channel, go to my Patreon diamond tier to unlock 300 plus videos. All of my social media links are going to be located down in the description box below. So make sure you guys check that out. And without further ado, you guys, let's get ready to react to the season finale of UK versus the world season two. The grand finale of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world. All right, let's get to it, darling. After Scarlett got sent home. But we are top four, baby. Oh, yeah, five. you guys are the top five. four. No shame. <laughs> Congratulations to you girls. Y'all did that. And it's really hard because, you know, you want to be sad. But we're freaking excited! Oh, Miss Hannah, girl, you didn't give a damn if she was there. <laughs> girl, just, just say you didn't care for her, girl. It is what it is, honey. All right, whatever. Bye. Sayonara. But I'm so sorry to see you go, Miss Scarlett. I still love you, girl. Bye, Scarlett. Even though Hannah hates your guts. My favorite show. I've got myself a badge. I am on the board. Yes. Better late than never. You finally did it. And you did it at the right time, Miss Hannah. No shade. You did it at the right goddamn time to get a badge. I am here for global domination. And I think this you will is your dominate first this season. Final. Oh my God. Yeah, it was Scarlett. Yeah. In order to Scarlett prove was ultimately going to get the best, you have to beat girl. the best. So it is what I it was. They were not going to get rid of Marina. They yeah. weren't going to play strategic, which is cute. I it would you be. know, it's fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. The eliminated queens are going to come no. back. Oh, la, 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 la. C'est la merde. Oh, oh, she's no. like, I don't want those oh, no. eliminated I queens to come. A, and they're going to settle all the scores, especially with you, Marina. If it's a reunion, like, especially with you, Marina. Well, they have no right to be surprised. Regardless of what I think, it doesn't matter because someone. I really agree with you, Marina. Yeah. Let's bring on that crowd and fifty thousand pounds. Yes. I mean, and honestly, were you guys were, were you guys honestly surprised about this about this top four? Like, truly, honestly, it could have went this way. You know, I'm not surprised about it at all. One of them will be named Queen of the Mother Tucking World. 
Hashtag Drag Race UK. Is she auditioning to take the role of the U.S. seasons or something? I thought this was RuPaul's job. What do you guys think? Is Michelle slowly inching her way to be the main host on all, every franchise? Would you guys allow that? Would you guys want that? Let me know down in the comments. My juices aren't flowing as hot as they were. Were they? You know, in my season. Oh, were you really angry? Tell me how angry you were, girl. Apart from Jombers, were eliminated by the finalists. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michelle, starting your show. This is cute. I enjoy this, Miss Hannah. I love the hair and the dress. Over, 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 Miss La Grande. Oh, wow. Baby, there is no words for her looks. Kili -kili. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Tia Coffee, she's giving me um broke down Cinderella, but it's cute. A Cinderella from around the world. <laughs> the top four you were thinking you'd see? No, I called out. absolutely not. <laughs> no, okay, the girls are saying, no, ma'am. I did not see myself right here in this first seat. Where did you see yourself is the question. Past week's elimination? Yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah. I just... <laughs> the tension is thick. It was you that I felt had the weakest track record. It's crazy because the week before... Wow. Okay. She's speaking the truth, though. You can't be mad at Hannah. She is speaking the truth. And it is a game. This is how the competition is. So no one should be really too hurt about it. It's clearly based on the performance. It was based on the performance? No, of the... In the th through, the sh through the show. Ah, <laughs> that's kind of... Ah, ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, 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 ah. It was based on the what? <laughs> I mean, girl, Scarlett. I mean, you could have got... Uh, I think... I think La Grande Dame's fashion runway kind of did it for her too as well. So, yeah. I also chose your lipstick, so. <laughs> it's starting. It was and personal. That so. was personal, yeah. but last week. She said, no, no, that comment was personal, but everything else last week, it wasn't personal. <laughs> Girl, just say you just didn't really care. You guys don't gel, and that's okay. Not everyone has to gel. Just because you guys are on the same season doesn't mean that you guys are just cookie, um, good cookie cutter crunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not that, you know, you guys aren't just sisters like that, and that's okay. If it were me, I'd get rid of the strongest player. I, because... I'm the... I think that's how everyone should play the game. Even it's because, even if it's my favorite, I think that's how everyone should play the game. You want to win. And if I'm being honest, Marina would have been the first girl on the chopping block. And I want her to win. And I think she's going to win this season. But she would have been gone, in my opinion. Oh, let's just go by record. And no. let's all hold hands. Nope. Let's get the out. Let's do it. That was my thought process going yeah. in. The thing was going to be here and that I was the chosen one. We have better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love her personality a lot on Shy. Did you have a strong alliance? I know we mentioned something in the beginning and then Girl, it just kind no. of you surprised when they asked you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> How like, were you? Well, I, I was pleasantly was surprised happen, and I so love to see this on the screen. Yeah. Glad that you guys made that decision because I know you have my lipstick too. <laughs> okay. The girls were out I'm happy that she Mayhem handled that with grace. I've forgotten what happened that episode. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did, girl. <laughs> I can forgive you now. Oh, she's gonna cry. Oh my God, Miss Jumpers, no. I can't forgive you for that wig and those white boots that you were wearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well, okay. I knew I was preferred pixie. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying something. Oh, well, damn. The fact that Jumpers does not particularly get on with my ex-boyfriend. Right. Basically, it was a love triangle that went bad and that's what ultimately Tia Coffin made that decision on something that wasn't a part of the show. Was it fair to me personally? No. I was just like, okay, girl. But at the end of the day, strategically, it did make sense because Jombers was a strong competitor too. So I get it. I met like some amazing girls, mm. you know, that's some. that's, that's <laughs> not, not some. Not okay. okay. <laughs> but uh, I sucked. Mm. But, but I don't think you sucked. I don't think you sucked. I just don't think that you were better than some of the girls that were you were casted with. Tia means stroke in Dutch. Wish you had one when you chose my lipstick. <laughs> oh. Well, damn. I mean, 
I'm loving the fact that these girls are asking the questions that need to be asked during a reunion episode. Girls, pay attention to what needs to be asked during a reunion. Thank you. I picked up any British phrases. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Story of my life. But the only Rocky Road I saw was T.S. makeup, so. <laughs> <laughs> you may not speak the same dialect or language, but you speak the same language of drag. We do speak the Amen to that, girl. Amen to that. No offense to our Americans, but not always about what the Americans think about world You're drag. Very true. Well said, Miss Hannah. It's very much the truth. <sighs> but we have better drag, just saying. <laughs> You've done Down Under Proud. You really oh, have done you. Yes, Proud. you definitely she done yeah. Down Under What's Proud. What's for you? I mean, but you I didn't just... see the back of that one. Saw <laughs> 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 the back of you, though, didn't I? <laughs> well, <t> <laughs> the girls are the girls are throwing slight shade, and I'm here for it. Good job. Humor, mm -hmm. and um, that's something I didn't even do on my season. I was concerned yeah, we about saw a lot like, of humor from you this season. I uh, allowed myself to go there. I had never felt. I love the fact that we've seen this different side of you and that you are just quirky and funny and just weird, which was so enlightening to see. I loved it, Miss La Grande Dame. Your country will be so proud of you. You've done everybody proud. Friends, so. stand you. up. Congratulations. Make sure that everyone felt at home. That was crucial for me. And I oh, think I built so many Miss, strong friendships with we love you, all girl, of them. Miss, Chorisa. It's been much Miss Congeniality. Yeah. Chorisa May. Arancha Castillo. Arancha Castillo, Arancha! <laughs> I don't know why I'm living for this choice, though. Oh, and the fact that she was authentically so surprised and so happy. Oh, I love that even more. How does it feel? It feels right. <laughs> that feels right. <laughs> Care that I'm going home with ten sisters. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Miss Miss Congeniality. I love you. Final four. As you mentally prepare for the lip sync smackdown. All right, let's go. Let's get ready. Let's get down to this competition now, honey. Who's about to take this? Grand finale. It gives you RuPaul's Hooker Statue of Liberty. The world. And I don't know how to feel about this. Tonight, finale, eleganza extravaganza. Okay, Please we want to see back. something grand, USA, darling. We want to see something over. This looks over. Your body looks great. I love how this looks, girl. Sickening. Ancient Sands, hear my command. I feel like I need to say that. Storm vibes. <laughs> Storm Wakanda vibes. Arancha, this is not it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry, sis, but this is just not it for me. It's a no. Jumbers, this is just not it for me. It's cute. It's just not for a fashion eleganza season finale look. Okay, Miss Ketta, this is definitely a different color palette for you, but I enjoy it. It's cute. All right, Miss Gothy. It's cute. It's fun. It's all right. Love it. Miss Lydia. By the way, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is coming out this year, and I cannot wait when it does. Um, but this look is really gorgeous. I love this color. I love this Spanish flair. I love Chorisa. She looks good. I don't like the way she's walking in this scarlet. It's okay. Yeah, it feels like you cannot walk in this. This is very interesting to me. It's okay. The fabric choice choices. The body shape is still nice. The mug is nice. The hair is good. I like the construction of this, but choice interesting choice of fabric. Gorgeous look, Miss Lara Gandam. Beautiful. Mug, hair, concept, construction. It's a lot going on with the things that are flaring out, but you still have shape to your body, which is great. Filipina queen. It's no shade. It's a cute look. I love it. Your mug is on. Your body is right. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I expected a lot more from her for this final look, but it's still a cute look. Um, but it it did what it needed to do. Elva, work out, Miss Marina. It's okay. It looks like carpet or greenery it feels like honestly the grass in my front yard in my front area like or even in the dog section but it's still cute i guess i like the top piece i like the mug i would have chose different hair with this 
very proud of each and every one of you. We're proud it's of you time girls. For the, why Love do you it. think the world needs drag now more than ever before? It did save my life many times. Give drag a go if you get the chance <laughs> and have oh, a great time it. in life. <laughs> because, um, I mean, straight to the point and simple so, and funny. Thank you. Good job, Miss Max. Drag mm. is the best tool we have in the community for people to understand us and to learn kindness. Yes. Merci beaucoup. Oh, good answer, guys, good answer. I she may actually not be the most funny in English, made it reflect but I'm her, her life. In Turkey. I'm so happy to be part of this army. Drag is in good hands, and I'm just so happy to be oh, part of oh, it. Oh, that's and so sweet. One <laughs> the world needs it. <laughs> no, okay, girl. <laughs> Your green girl, redemption. I feel like she is giving You've Mongolian a pillow it, cover. So what is going on, Miss Tia? Queen, rights for queer people start getting taken away. They directly impact rights of other minority groups. And I think the reason why the world needs to okay. now, we have been gifted this platform. So I do think it is our responsibility to speak up and stop that. Thank over, you. over, Thank over, you, over. The best the answer so far. World... I mean, I'll say this just off the bat. The best look on the stage to me personally is going to be from um, La Grande Dame and maybe Marina Summers. But the best answer on that stage to that question was Miss Tia Coffee. Period, point blank. There's no one, no one had a better answer than her. The Philippines is proud and I am proud of the Philippines, so the whole world is proud of you and the whole world should be enthusiastically so amused at what the Philippines can give us because honestly your guys' drag is top tier how do you guys feel about the reunion it was spicy we love that reunion. It was the right amount of everything that we needed. It wasn't too long and drawn out where we got bored and was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And it was like the right type of shade where it was like cutthroat, but then, okay, girl, we get it. It's still a game. And then it was just the right questions that were asked. And it was, and, and it was volleying back and forth between the contestants, not the, not Michelle and the contestants. It was literally just the contestant and the contestant. So, which I enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about the little reunion. Bitter! Not naming any names, but Scarlett and Jumbus. <laughs> they did, they had a lot of stuff to get off their chest, but at the end of the day, they kind of made the reunion what it was. Good. Thank you for making this feel like it's home. Sisters for life mm, and smack down for the crown. Let's get up, ladies. Right. Goodbye. Girl, let's get, let's get work, this baby. show. Watch Marina Kill Let's see how this goes down. The girls burn up. Mess this up. Process of elimination. Let the lip sync smackdown begin. Oh, Marina Summers, of course it will be. Select your opponent. She gets to select the girl, honey. She said, girl, who do I want to demolish right now? I have one last dance with my samba partner. Oh, Miss Hannah Conda, girl, are you ready, girl? Because, honey, it's going to be a tough time. You will face off in tonight's second lip sync. <laughs> wow. Wowzers, wowzers. I'm sorry to say, Miss Hannah, but, girl, it might be your time to go now. Hannah. Yes. You get to choose your lip sync song. Oh, oh, oh Brit Crew. <gasps> Oh, Hannah gets to choose a song. Girl, honestly, to be really honest with you, the only thing I would want to do is know the song that I'm going to pick. If I can pick the song, that is the thing I would want to do. Let me know down in the comments which one would you rather do. Pick the girl that you want to lip sync against or pick the song that you want to lip sync to. Out of love. You've chosen. Oh, girl, Miss Hannah was very excited about that one. Why did she have to have one last samba, honestly? Girl, you better put your dancing shoes on, Miss Marie and Miss Hannah, because baby, I don't know if you can keep up this time. I do not know if you can keep up this time. I know this song like the back of my hand. <laughs> That's interesting. Like I said, if you're most comfortable with the song, there's really nothing another girl can do. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I put my my deck on Miss Marina. No shade. I put. All the hands on deck for Miss Marina. No shame. Lip sync 
for the crown. Oh my god, here we go. Let's see how this goes down. Come on, Miss Marina. That's right, girl. All right, Miss Hannah, I see you, girl. Hey, come on, Miss Hannah, with the mic, girl. <laughs> okay, Miss Marina giving you sultry. Hey, Marina, that's right. Both of them are doing really good so far. Okay, Miss Marina, I know that's right, girl. Hey, Marina, is, so far you're doing really good. You're giving me levels, you're giving me different vibes, which I like. Come on, Miss Marina. Oh, okay, Miss Hannah. Come on, Miss Hannah. <laughs> oh, you better sell it to me, girl. They're both doing very good so far. They're both on the same playing field. Okay. Hannah, you're doing really good. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But Hannah, you was a close one, girl. You was a close one. I've made my decision. Oh, Miss Marina. The winner, Anaconda. Disgusting, chunky, wonky, oompa loompa, son of a b I can't even think that you would win against the Filipino queen, Marina Summers. How dare you? The girls are out to get you. Hmm. Usa. You did it. You deserve it, babe. No, you did it. <laughs> Honestly, really, Hannah did good, but I just didn't think that she did that good to beat Marina. I felt like they both did did good, but I think that Marina did just a little bit better than Hannah. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about this one. I don't know. I've just freaking taken out an assassin. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, everyone calm down. Everyone, fix your wigs. Check your blood pressure. Relax. Mar Hanaconda, congratulations. Do not send Miss Hanaconda any type of hate. We do not wish that upon anyone. And just know that the queen that you're rooting for does not want you to send any hate to any of the queens that are on her cast. Keep that in mind when you want to go cuss a girl out, okay? Or say that she didn't deserve that or go to her, keep that on your page, okay? Keep that on your page by all means, do with all of that. But please do not go to her page and say nasty, nasty things. If you have anything to say, by all means, comment down below how you really feel. <laughs> but for real, for real, Miss Hanaconda, congratulations on you taking up Miss Marina Summers. Did not expect that on the bingo card this evening, but it is what it is. This is how the competition is. She still did good. It's not like she blew her out of the water with that lip sync. It was really, uh, it, it was going toe to toe. It was going toe to toe. And if you were in, and if you were in around that time, you can see how that kind of made sense with Hannah Kondo winning. A global phenomenon now, i'm shocked oh, i Ruth, am... thank you so much for inviting this little filipina my lines are open for another call <laughs> <laughs> listen let me tell you something if she does not come back in a all-stars version in the u.s just like jimbo did and come back with vengeance i don't know what to tell you because the excellence of her drag should be displayed every time that she, every chance that she can get. Marina Summers, I hope and pray that we get you for an all-star season in the U.S. because that might be your crown. That might do you in. 
that is the one that you would probably get and more money by the way but i'm just saying miss marina summers love to see you on love to see the excellence of your drag love to see how you pulverize this season and at the end of the day this is just what the competition is this is just the beginning of your career again. And I cannot wait to see you when you're in the States. I'll always and forever be your Filipino winner. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. No shade, Miss Marina Summers. You did that. You did that, Miss Marina. Roy, do the Marina. Okay, girl, <laughs> when you have the whole cast, yourself, and Rue, do the glance. <laughs> you know what? Well, you know what kind of is? She took a literally a pageant move <laughs> and she made it her own, girl. How can you do? Only certain, bit, only certain girls can do that. Only certain girls can do that. To take a, to take a well-known pageant move that every pageant queen does and make it your thing. That's crazy, and that's something that speaks volumes. Let's just be real. I'm happy to be lip syncing against my quick step partner. It seems the I don't know how this is gonna go down because they both got two left feet, but hopefully, they give us a good performance. All right, Miss Tia. Okay, Miss Tia. I like what Miss Tia's giving. She's very composed right now to the beat drops. But Miss Lagandam, this coat and hat is over. Yes, Miss Lagandam, that was cute. Oh, but Miss Lagandam. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some more from you, Miss Miss Tia. Besides a two step, not two or three. I can't. Yes, Miss Lagandam in the back. <laughs> you better strip it down, girl. The place. Hey, he could boogie. Okay, Miss Tia, girl, you're giving us all these old school dance moves. Oh, okay, yes, Miss Lagrandam. I th I'm feeling Miss Lagrandam for some reason. Wait, what? Did she pull props from the back? Yes, Miss Lagrandam. No, okay. <laughs> okay, Miss Tia. Oh, they would. They would, you dirty, dirty, nasty. I've made my decision. I mean, I like Miss La Grand Dame. Tea coffee. <gasps> Shantae, Listen, I don't know. Maybe it's because I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Maybe because I don't know. Maybe am I watching the same show? Listen, the reason why I probably would would have picked La Grand Dame more than I picked Tia is because I think we got. We got more from her from a performance. We got levels from her for a performance. We got fashion as well. We got dance moves. We got funny. We got seriousness. We got sexy. We got, and it was a whole, it was a whole round of everything bunched into one performance. And it, it, it just was, to me, it was just a slightly better performance. Now, the Tia Coffee, she was funny and it was fun. But let's just be real, it was kind of sloppy too. And it was kind of like the dance moves were just funny, but were they executed the best? No. Was she being humorous on stage with her isms? Yes. I just think that Miss La Grande Dame did better in my opinion, by a little. But again, congratulations Miss Tia Coffee on your winning, going to the final lip sync for your life, lip sync for the crown. Do not send any hate to anybody on this show, Miss La Grande Dame or Miss Tia. By all means, no one wants any of these queens. Do not want you to send hate, any hate to their sister once again. But yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this lip sync down in the comment section below. Who would you guys have given it to? As well as that lip sync with with Marina Summers and Hannah Condra. I could actually win the crown. Who saw that coming? the producers sachet we need her on oh, all stars thank us you. as well thank you too i'm really happy about what i've done here viva la france full of love and stand up darling congratulations miss la grande Dame. great season oh mommy the crack has been Ooh, mighty good i like this whole ensemble miss blue you look Every beautiful get... it all comes down to this
Cash prize of fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> right, the right breath. I would have been over it too. Are you lip sync? For the crow. No, okay, Miss Tia. I like this. <laughs> that was cute, Tia. Miss Tia, you're doing that. Okay, Miss Hannah, that was a cute little reveal. Good job, Miss Hannah Conda. But Miss Tia, you're hitting them beats, girl. Okay, Miss Tia. <laughs> yes, Miss Hannah Conda. You're doing good, girl. Okay. <laughs> okay, Miss Tia. Okay, girl. Wait. Is that fair, though, when you have a contestant helping you out? They're both doing good, though. I would have picked a different Kylie Minogue song, to be honest with you, but it's cute. Okay, was that planned at the end? I, now I'm just confused, girl. I'm just confused. I've made my decision. That lip sync, Tia Coffee won that one. Clearly. Time has come. The winner, RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world is tea and coffee from that lip sync tea and coffee yeah 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 she deserved it good job girl good job good job good job for that final lip sync and good job for this season you did really good you impressed the heck out of me and as well as the whole world from baroness basic to queen of the mother that's Dutty right world. girl You're it's queen wild of the world. but it proved so much stronger than i ever thought i was congratulations miss tia coffee on being crowned uk versus the world reigning queen may you have a great reign which i'm sure you will and everyone make sure you guys go support her like her follow her and what book her around the world also, shout outs to the remaining queens that were on this season. Congratulations to you guys for being on the show and showing us your, your exceptional drag. Okay, visionaries, that is the end of my reaction to UK versus the world season two finale. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below. Truthfully and honestly, whether you agree with my opinions or not, you guys know I love to hear what you guys have to say. Again, do not send any hate to any of these queens, but I want to know how you truly felt. By all means, again, it's your opinions and it's your thoughts. Strictly focus on the season. Do not focus on anything else beyond what happened on this season if you want to talk about a queen. I don't want to hear about nobody's personal lives. I don't want to hear some stuff that is irrelevant to the season. Just strictly strictly focus on what happened throughout uk versus the world season two and again please give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button that notification bell and share this video on all your social media platforms and of course like always visionaries life is your vision it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous into the next one you guys bye